One way to double check that I did it right um, is to find the sum down here. So I'm going to write total. As usual, equals sum, colon, or parentheses, F2 to F8 in this particular example. I'm going to move this round up thing over here. I just wanted you to notice that it rounds up. Okay, so 14, that's good, because it said that there was 14 players in the data set. Matter of fact, you can see seven rows, seven columns, two rows, seven times two is 14. So now we've backed ourselves up on that, that it is 14. All right, now the relative frequency equals F2 divided by F9. Are you getting sick of doing this yet? <laughs> We've only done it a bajillion times. All right, and I'm going to fill down the column. And again, if you want less decimal places, like let's say you only want three, um, you can go to Home. Up here is the Number menu, or you can right-click and choose Format Cells in there. That's fine, too. Format Cells, there it is choose number and you can say hey I want three decimal places I want four decimal places there they are all right or if you want all of them you want all of them it's no big deal okay I'm going to bring all of this back to our lovely graph over here actually I don't need all of it I only need these all righty so what was the, or which number of games played is the mode most frequent? Okay, well, and this gets to a little bit of, of how these are different. Let, hold on, let me make this smaller for a sec. Okay, the mode for the number of games, if you go back and look at the data set, there's two ones right here, and that's it, right? So one happens more often than anything else. So the mode would be, one, right? Because um, two players have an average, oh sorry, this isn't number of games played, this is have an average of one point per game. The modal class, i.e. the class that occurs the most often, which for continuous data actually makes more sense to ask, is equal to the one point one point oh 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 two point nine 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 because oopsie two point nine 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 because that class has the highest frequency so sometimes they'll give you the original data and if they give you the original data you can see the mode is one from looking at the data Sometimes they'll give you the table, but they won't give you the original data. So if they did that, then I'd have to say the mode happens where 1 to 2.999, but I don't know which number it is. That makes sense. So um, it all depends on how much information they give you in the problem. There we go. All right, now we're going to start making a histogram. I doubt we'll be able to finish it all, but we'll start it. So we're going to go back to Excel to make this. So I'm going to go here. And it's going to work a lot like the last one. So I'm going to grab the frequency values. You grab the word frequency or don't. It doesn't really make any difference. If you don't grab it, you won't get that automatic title at the top of the um, screen. I'll do that because it's harder. Insert column. Choose column. There it is. It's glorified histogram. It's not very good, but, you know, we can, we can work with it. All right. So I'm going to do a lot of things. First of all, I'm going to add a title. And it's going to be the frequency histogram of points per game. And then I'm going to add access titles. This is going to be frequency. This will be relative frequency. Or not relative frequency. Sorry, this is average points per game. All right, now I need to edit my bars. So I'm going to go to Format Data Series, lower my gap to zero, and I want a border. So I'm going to put in a solid line, black border, and I'm going to give it a thickness because I like it that way. All right, and then all I got to do now is change these. Right click on the bars, choose Select Data, go to edit the horizontal labels and put in these labels and say okay. 